Hello there, I'm Keith and this is Glory, my wife. Hello. We're at the oldest sweet shop in Pateley Bridge, North Yorkshire, near Harrogate, and we're now business wise 190 years continuous trading. It doesn't look that old, does it? Yeah. <laughs> the building is even older, over 400 years old, and we were validated as the oldest sweet shop in the whole world by Guinness World Records in 2014. <laughs> An average day in the sweet shop is very busy. We, from the minute we arrive really, we don't stop. We're serving sweets every minute of the day on a busy day, uh, bagging sweets up, talking to people. People is asking us questions about the various types of sweets. People trying to remember what they used to buy when they were younger. And as you can see at the shop behind me, all the glass jars here full of colourful sweets, traditional sweets, a lot made still in the original way that they used to be made. And we still serve them traditionally by the quart of the four ounces. We weigh them out into the scale pans which are electronic and we put them into the paper bags. And then people pay and we put it in the cash register which you can see here which is over a hundred years old. Sweets are memories from your earliest times, it's a bit like a piece of music that you remember from a particular event, a particular time in your life, and sweets are exactly the same. So when I was growing up, something like my grandfather digging into his big overcoat pocket and getting a mint in peer, which was usually dust covered, and handing it to me, but I can still remember those times when he did that. And visiting a sweet shop was always, as a young child, a magical experience lady who came in a few years ago who said that she was 97 years old and the last time she'd walked through the door of this shop was when she was five years old so and she said that the shop hadn't changed it was just as she'd remembered it but she wanted to come back and visit it uh, and that was really quite special because for somebody you know to come back 92 years later was quite phenomenal so that sticks and we've also had memories from the various celebrities we've had film with us. Robbie Coltrane, obviously a big A-list star, Paul Hollywood, real character, uh, real Jack the Lad, loved his sweets and you know if somebody genuinely does love sweets they wanted to try everything, test everything and they're all happy memories and things that will uh, stay with us. And I've always said that with sweets, remember sugar is a preservative so I, I eat lots of sweets so I believe that the sugar is preserving all my organs so it's pickled. <laughs> I'm pickled in sugar pickled. and the environment's pickled in sugar you smell the sweetness in the air yeah. this is the beauty because I eat sweets and I eat them every day I know the sweets that I'm selling are the ones that are right the ones that are correct and that's the important thing I know the product so if somebody asks me about something I can tell them all about it because I've eaten them all and I do so there are over 200 jars of sweets in the shop but I know every single sweet well licorice now licorice is a subject within itself all licorice comes from that which is the licorice root and the licorice root is grown as a shrub and it's pronounce not, it. pronounce it in Italian as glyceria glabra similar to that anyway it might not be quite the correct <laughs> pronunciation and all licorice comes from this root you can chew on this and it's Not hard to start off with but then it gets going and you get the flavour of licorice coming out of it. What they do with the root, they actually crush it and boil it and then you get the pure licorice. That is actually 50 times sweeter than sugar, really good for digestion and a lot of medicinal uses for it, tablets, medicine etc to do with licorice. But the sweets generally stem from that background and if you think about all the names of sweets you've got things like rosy apples, apples, you've got pear drops from the pear, you've got the Sarsaparilla <laughs> from the sarsaparilla from the from the sarsaparas. <laughs> so he can pronounce it. He can't pronounce it. And, and actually, it's supposed to be a bit of an aphrodisiac. Is sarsaparilla? It's known as poor man's Viagra. So there you are. Just have some of them. You'll be, be up all night. <laughs> and we serve it from under the couch in a plain brown wrapper. <laughs> So if I talk about gobstoppers and people say, you know, we've got we've got gobstoppers this size. So people say, oh, could get that in the mouth? And I say, oh, my wife can. <laughs> 
so, 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 so I think it's it, it's a happy environment. It's it a, is. It's a nice place to work. And, and if you consider that this little sweet shop has been going for 190 years this year, so a long, long time, no reason that it won't be here if the people are passionate about what they do, if they love what they do, if they understand sweets, that it will be here. And I am absolutely confident we'll be fine. Yeah.